All right, guys, today we're going to talk about five pointless EDC trends in the EDC community, go over them, talk about them, and explain why I think they are kind of pointless, and just talk about gear that you probably don't need. Now, in fairness, some of this gear is very niche, and maybe for a particular job, if you work a particular occupation, it might be more useful. So, for instance, I might say that something like a Leatherman Raptor would be very useless for the vast majority of likely my viewers, subscribers, but to some of them, myself included, a Leatherman Raptor is actually a very practical and very useful tool. So with that said, once again, not all of this is straight forward or clean cut or exactly you know to the point per se. Um, not all of this is 100% applicable to everyone. But with that out of the way, let's talk about it. Let's get into five things that I think are five EDC items you just don't need. So the first one for me is something that I see very prominently and even I'm sometimes guilty of it, and that is pry tools. Pry tools are one that are very interesting because once again, they, they are grounded in a lot of usefulness. They can be good tools. They can be useful items for your everyday carry depending on your occupation. But by and large, most of the time, things like an EDC pocket tool or something like a pry tool just really isn't that useful. Now, for mine in particular, I am showing off the old school kind of um, unobtainium, and that is a Gav cool, Gavco Knives Kiradashi. And so this is one of his cool ones. I have this one more because it was, one, a gift from one of my friends, but also, two, I have it because it's a very cool Gavco product that is very old school so it's kind of one of those if you know you know kind of um tools but anyways so this guy is my representation here for the pry tool but by and large once again it's like pry tools you probably don't really need one in your everyday carry and i think a lot of people get obsessed with how they can make a you know really nice pocket dump or pocket check on things like instagram youtube reddit um, or facebook you know the different social medias that that everyday carry people engage on with a high degree of prominence and one that outside of something like a multi-tool, I strongly recommend not carrying and I've never gotten to the habit of carrying is going to be a bit kit, disassembly kit, or a screwdriver kind of setup. Once again, if you are carrying a standalone screwdriver, you are doing something, in my opinion, wrong. Now, once again, I will say, um, you know, when it comes down to screwdrivers, are they bad? Are they useless tools? No, but having a full-on bit kit, especially with things like Torx bits, or for the idea or practice or thought process that you're going to, you know, break down one of your knives and fix it and tune it on the fly, for me, I think that that is very unrealistic. I just don't really see a lot of that happening and I don't think it's a very practical use case. So I think it's kind of just something that it's like, you know, it's it's a cool idea. Once again, it looks good in pictures um, on Instagram if you're trying to, you know, post a Reddit flex or something like that. But in actual practice, I just don't think that outside of, you know, carrying like a small bit kit for your Leatherman and then of course Leatherman screwdrivers, you know, like or a multi-tool you know, a screwdriver, screwdrivers tied to a multi-tool. I just don't really think it's practical to carry a full disassembly or bit kit, especially one that's tailored towards um, <clears throat> knives, like breaking them down. So anyways, that would be my next one um, on the list. Now to follow this up kind of as an aside, and one thing that I see that's actually fairly prominent is carrying pliers such as the primarily Knipex um, pliers and don't get me wrong i do want to note that just because i don't think something's worth buying or worth edcing or things that you just don't need doesn't mean that knipex pliers are low quality doesn't mean that you know um <clears throat> some of these tools are low quality like my pry tool you know is is certainly a good quality pry tool but once again it's one of those things where it's like it might be a high quality tool but you really are probably never going to use it and so that's the same kind of principle here so once again um, carrying pliers outside of something like a multi-tool for me if you're rocking a multi-tool especially because a multi-tool usually has you know a blade or two blades on it you know might have some screwdrivers might have some pliers on there you know like a multi-tool gets a pass in my opinion because a multi-tool once again as the name implies is multiple tools 
And so at some point you might use the knife to break down a cardboard box. You might use the pliers to you know, do something. You might use the screwdriver, to, you know, screw something in. So, you know, in that regard, a multi-tool is something that I think is worth carrying because all of the functions combined into one do make a tool that you're gonna be using on a realistic basis. All right, next one up, and I don't have an example here, unfortunately, is going to be things like what we really call in the EDC community pocket trash. So this is stuff such as collectible coins, collectible fidget tools, collectible anything that is, you know, just not useful at all. Like a coin, uh, you know, a token serves no real purpose. Um, you know, fidget tools don't really serve any purpose outside of fidgeting with them. So this kind of category is just anything that really doesn't have a strict functionality. And once again, if you carry something um, for a memento or if you carry something for a personal reason, that is one thing, but that does not mean that because you have a coin um, or something along those lines that represents something meaningful to your life, that everyone should then go out and purchase something similar so that they can have the same. So once again, this is you know something that kind of just goes along that track of, you, you know, your mileage may vary, but by and large, most people won't really need pocket trash in particular. Now the last one, and I saved this one for last in particular because I think it is the kind of, uh, you know, like piece de resistance for, you know, like carrying all this bloat basically. You know, if you have things like a Knipex plier, you have things like screwdrivers or bait kits, you have things such as, you know, pocket trash or pry tools, you, know, you carry all of these different things with you. Invariably and quite frequently in the community is carrying EDC pouches. And pouches, fanny packs, whatever you'd like to call them, really kind of cement and further this problem because you sit there and you're like, well, you know, if say I have five pockets on my pants, right? I can only put so much in each pocket before it becomes or overloaded and, you know, you just become unmaneuverable or overburdened or over encumbered, I guess you could say. And so what EDC pouches and packs and fanny packs do is they alleviate that problem by giving you more space for more potential stuff to carry. And once again, I think that this kind of cements the bad habit because you will see people who, you know, they have, you know, this larger EDC backpack and inside of it, they have their EDC tool kit and inside it, they have their EDC you know, tools and different, you know, pieces of equipment in there that are they realistically going to use it to break down their knife, you know, during the average day? Probably not. And if they do, I definitely have some serious questions about that. But I don't think that like as a whole preparedness is a problem and if you have a backpack that you go to work with that you carry equipment in that's one thing but having like an edc you know pouch or fanny pack or something that allows you to very easily you know expand essentially from the pockets of your pants you know to you know, carry more equipment i think this is further compounding the problem because with edc and with pocket checks even though i think it gets less views and it's less popular you know we should ultimately strive towards condensing down what we actually have as equipment. So this means, you know, that you should try to aim to carry less equipment, finding what's essential for you. So say, you know, a knife is an essential for you. Well, then carry a knife. Then <clears throat> if you find that you need a pen and a flashlight, you know, carry those things as well. But getting burdened down with, you know, like a whole bit kit exchange system so that you can break down, you know, knives that you carry is definitely going, in my opinion, too extreme or too far. So for me, like I said, I think these are five items that you don't need to waste your money on. If you do happen to be in a particular, you know, trade or job where some of these things are required, obviously your mileage will vary. So you might need to carry something or you might find something like a pair of dedicated pliers to be very useful for you. However, like I said, most of the time, if what most of you're doing is, you know, just breaking down cardboard boxes or opening packages, you know, you don't need more than like a knife for that. And so at most, you know, maybe a multi-tool, but you know, a general small, or, or small-ish EDC knife is going to fit the bill just fine. So I think this is something that a lot of people get hung up on and once again they end up you know taking a lot of stuff with them they just simply don't need. 
Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.